Earthbed. Good day learners, this is Earthpen. For today's topic, we are going to learn how to convert fractions into decimals. In our previous videos, we already discussed what fraction is all about. Let's have a quick recap first about fractions before proceeding to the topic. Fractions simply tell us how many parts of the whole we have. For example, we have a whole circle divided into four parts. We call those parts a fraction to the original circle. And if one part is shaded, therefore the shaded part can be represented as one-fourth in fraction. Fraction is composed of two numbers, the numerator and the denominator and it is separated with a line. The line represents division. So how to convert fractions into decimals? To convert fractions into decimals, all we have to do is divide the numerator of the fraction to the denominator of the fraction. For example, we have a fraction which is 1 over 2 or 1 half we just need to divide the numerator 1 by the denominator which is 2. But as you can see, it cannot be divided since 2 is greater than 1. So, this is where the concept of decimal takes place. We all know that 1 could be written as 1.0 or 1.00 or 1.000 and its value is still 1. So let's try to use that and see if we can solve this problem. Let's put a decimal point and add 0 to the 1. And our equation looks like 10 divided by 2, right? And we can now easily divide it. So if we ignore the decimal point, then it will look like 10 divided by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. But that's not our final answer since we have a decimal point there. And we also know that 5 is not the right answer since 5 is greater than 1 half. So to have a correct answer, we just need to include the decimal point in our answer. We put it directly above the decimal point in our problem. Now the answer becomes 0.5 or to write it properly, it is 0.5 therefore the fraction one half when converted to decimal is 0.5 now let's have another example let's try converting the fraction 1 over 4 or 1 fourth to decimal again divide the numerator by the denominator and as we can see again 4 is greater than 1 so it is difficult to divide it. That's why we need to add a decimal. So let's put a decimal point after 1 and add 0 at the tenths place. So now it will look like this. So if we ignore the decimal point, then it will look like 10 divided by 4. 10 divided by 4 is 2, remain, remainder 2. But we don't want remainder, so we need to add another 0 to the hundreds place and then bring down the 0 to make the remainder looks like 20. So 20 divided by 4 is 5, and that leaves us no remainder. But again, don't forget to write the decimal point in our answer. Therefore, the fraction 1 over 4 when converted to decimal is 0 0.25. Now let's have one last example. Try converting the fraction 1 over 3 to decimal. Again, 3 is greater than 1, so it is hard to divide it. Therefore, we need to add a decimal. Let's put decimal point after 1 and then add 0 in tenths place. So if we ignore the decimal place, then it will look like 10 divided by 3. 10 divided by 3 is 3 remainder 1, but we don't want remainder, so therefore we need to add 0 to the hundreds place and that gives us 10 divided by 3 again 
and we know that 10 divided by 3 is 3 remainder 1 so again we still have a remainder 1 so this means we need to add 0 again but it will result again to 10 divided by 3 so it looks like it might keep going forever there are fractions that if we divide them it will have a repeating pattern of numbers that continues forever like the fraction 1 over 3 if we convert it into decimal it will give us a value of 0 0.3333333 and it keeps on going forever so we just need to stop and round off the numbers therefore we can write it as 0 0.333 or we can put this special symbol that means this number repeats forever so that's how we convert fractions into decimals it is very easy right so that's it guys did you enjoy our topic for today i hope you learned how to convert fractions into decimals also you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel once again this is earthpen learning has never been this easy for anyone anywhere have a nice day